I'm Cyril Vanier in Doha with the headlines on Al Jazeera. Israeli settlers have attacked another Palestinian village in the occupied West Bank. They set fire to homes, cars and other properties in Tormusaya, that's in northern Ramallah. There are reports of injuries. This is the latest round of violence after the killing of four Israelis on Tuesday near an illegal settlement. Staying in the region, there's been violence between Israeli forces and people in the occupied Golan Heights. Residents are opposed to the construction of a wind energy project there. Hundreds of Druze Syrians say their farmlands will be affected. An international conference is underway in London to help Ukraine recover and rebuild from the conflict. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is expected to unveil a financial assistance package, including a $3 billion credit from the World Bank. Ukraine's president appeared on video and urged donors to take concrete steps. I want to thank you. And of course, I, I thank Switzerland, Germany, France, Italy, every country where we have agreed on key principles for recovery. At this conference, we must move from vision to agreements and from agreements to real projects. There's been heavy fighting in Sudan's capital just hours after a 72-hour truce ended. But there are reports the warring sides have been holding talks to observe another ceasefire for the Eid holiday next week. The Gambia is tightening its rules on imported Indian medicines after the deaths of dozens of children. At least 70 children died after ingesting Indian-made cough syrup last year. The Spanish Coast Guard has intercepted a boat carrying dozens of migrants near the Canary Islands. More than 60 people were brought to shore when they're being treated by Red Cross doctors. Nearly 6,000 migrants and refugees have reached the Canary Islands so far this year, significantly fewer compared to the same period last year. Brazil says it's confiscated a record 29 tons of illegal shark fins bound for Asia. Its Environmental Protection Agency estimates around 10,000 short fin mako and blue sharks were killed to harvest the fins, which are considered a delicacy in some parts of Asia. Shark fishing is banned in Brazil. Officials said two export companies had illegally used permits for other species to gather the huge haul.